this day. We're just hoping the other team, will, you know, the rest of the team will pick it up. And, you know, and they did. And it feels comforting, you know, just having them, you know, not hold that against me and just, you know, being able to, you know, move on with me for the next kick and just keep worrying about, you know, if we got the possession, they had fully, they were fully confident on me, like going for a field goal or something like that. So it definitely feels good knowing that the team has your back. Eric Landis. What kind of boost did the 50 yarder give you? Sorry? What kind of boost did hit the 50 yarder right out of the shoot? I mean, it feels good. It feels good. I mean, we try not to worry about too much of where we are in the field, and every every kick if they put us out there, it's because they believe we can do it. So I mean, it's definitely good to you know make one of those. You know, in not not such great weather conditions. It felt good. Definitely. It's kind of came off the ankle a little wrong, and you know my head came out too quick, and just a little mistake that was easily corrected, and you know already went through with my coach, and we know what the mistake was. Obviously, the fans hang on that. Then you know, as long as that margin is in limbo, how long do you hang on that? And I mean, are you ever at all thinking back to that during the rest of the game? On um, what margin? The the margin being so slim that one, you know, that one point here or oh. there. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something that you worry about. You know, we all work so hard as a team, and you don't want to let them down at any point. You know, I felt like I let them down then today, but they picked me up. So that's that's what really matters for me at the end of the day. You know, just knowing they were there for me and they picked Sam it Artisan. up. But yet you continue to kick well in, in hostile environments. I mean, is that what you, you picked up today? I mean, I mean, the, the 50 yarder really set a good tone here. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. I mean, just coming to a stadium where the, where they're all yelling at you and the sidelines are so close, and you know, it's fun to have the fans, you know, trying to get in your head, and you know, you just know it's not gonna happen. So. I mean, it feels good just to go out there and just just to be so loud, and then as soon as you hit a through ball, you just know it's going in, and then the the, the crowd just goes quiet for a second. It's just the best feeling you can have. Well, I think people forget this is your first time here, right? Yeah, first time <laughs> here, and you know, you know, it was a good time. I mean, just just enjoying the moment, and trying to you know take it day by day. I'm sure, Melvin doesn't ever want to come back here again, but he he leaves on a good note. Oh yeah, he definitely leaves on a good note. I mean, it's hard to find a game that Melvin doesn't leave on a good note. You know, he's just. As a kicker, I mean, it's great to have him, but you, you always got to be warm once we're on offense because, man, he will break at any time. And once he does, it's just good to, you know, just put the icing on the cake over there. So, well, happy nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Joe Schober.